In this video, we're going to talk about how to determine the point of intersection between a line and a plane. So let's draw a picture. Let's say that's the Z axis, that's the X, and here we have the Y axis. Let's say we have a plane. I know my drawing is terrible, but we'll make it work. And let's say we have a line that intersects the plane at point P. Point P has an X, a Y, and a Z coordinate. So what we need to do is find some value T where the X, Y, and Z coordinates in the parametric equations are the same as the X, Y, and Z coordinates in the plane. Because at that point, that's going to be the point of intersection between the line and the plane, where the the x, y, and z coordinates are the same. But how do we go about finding it? What do we need to do? Feel free to pause the video if you want to try it. So what we're going to do is, in the parametric equations, we're going to substitute the 3 plus 4t for x in the equation of the plane. And we're going to do the same thing for y and the same thing for z. So let's start with the equation of the plane. 2x plus 4y minus z is equal to 1. So let's begin by replacing x with 3 plus 4t. Next, let's replace y with 5 minus 2t. And then let's replace z with 4 plus 17. Now the next thing we need to do is solve for t, but let's distribute first. So we have 2 times 3, which is 6, and then 2 times 4t, that's 8t. 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times negative 2t, that's negative 8t. And then we need to distribute the negative sign. So this is going to be minus 4 and then minus 70, which is equal to 1. Now, let's combine like terms. So we have 6 plus 20, which makes 26 minus 4. So that's 22. 8t and negative 8t will cancel. So we're left with this. Our next step is to subtract both sides by 22. 1 minus 22 is negative 21. And then we need to divide both sides by negative 7. So negative 21 divided by negative 7 is 3. So t is equal to 3. Now the next thing that we need to do is take our t value and plug it in to the parametric equations. This is going to give us x, y, and z. So let's start with the first one. x is equal to 3 plus 4t. So that's going to be 3 plus 4 times 3. 4 times 3 is 12 plus 3, that's 15. So next we need to calculate y. So we have 5 minus 2t. And this is going to be 2 times 3 is 6. 5 minus 6 is negative 1. Next, we have z, which is 4 plus 7t. So that's going to be 4 plus 7 times 3. 7 times 3 is 21. And then 4 plus 21 is 25. So we have x, y, and z. So the answer is going to be 15 comma negative 1 comma 25. So this is the point of intersection between the line and the plane. So that's how you could find it. Now let's move on to the second type of problem that we can encounter with this type of topic. At what point does the line that passes through 2 comma 1 comma 3 and 5 comma 2 comma 1 intersect the plane 
x minus 3y minus 5z equal 4. So this problem is a little different, but if we can find the parametric equations of the line that intersects the plane, then we can do what we did in problem one. So that's what we need to do in problem two. Let's call this point P and point Q. In order to define a line, we need a point and a vector. So let's find a vector, which we'll call vector PQ. So we're going to subtract points Q, I mean point Q from point P. So it's going to be Q minus P. So we're going to have 5 minus 2, comma 2 minus 1, comma 1 minus 3. So we're subtracting the X values, the Y values, and the Z values. So 5 minus 2 is 3, 2 minus 1 is 1, 1 minus 3 is minus 2. So that is the direction of the line, which is defined by vector v. Now, what do we do at this point, now that we have the vector? How can we write the parametric equations for this line? Here are the formulas that you need. x is equal to x sub 0 plus at. y is equal to y sub 0 plus bt. And z is equal to z sub 0 plus ct. So vector v tells us or gives us the values a, b, and c. Now to find x, y, and z sub 0, we need to choose one of the two points that we have, either point p or point q. So let's use point p. x0 is going to be 2, y0 is 1, z sub 0 is 3. So we're going to have x is equal to x sub 0 is 2, a is 3, so x is equal to 2 plus 3t, y sub 0 is 1, b is 1, so that's just going to be 1t or just t, z sub 0 is 3, c is negative 2, so this is going to be 3 minus 2t. So here are the parametric equations that define the line that passes through the points 2, 1, 3, and 5, 2, 1. So now let's start with the equation of the plane. So x minus 3y minus 5z is equal to 4. Now let's plug in x, y, and z into that equation so we can get an equation that contains only the t variable. So this is going to be 2 plus 3t minus 3 times 1 plus t minus 5 times 3 minus 2t. So now let's do some algebra. Let's distribute the negative 3. So this is going to be minus 3, minus 3t, three and then distributing negative 5. Negative 5 times 3 is 15. Negative 5 times negative 2t, that's positive 10t. three t and negative three t will cancel. So we have two minus three, which is negative one minus 15, that's negative 16. And then we're left with plus 10 t, which is equal to four. Now let's add 16 to both sides. So four plus 16 is 20, dividing both sides by 10. We can see that t is equal to 2. Now let's take this value of t and plug it into that formula, or the parametric equations rather. So we have 2 plus 3 times 2, that's 6 plus 2, which is 8. And then for y, it's just 1 plus 2, which is 3. And for z, it's going to be 3 minus 2 times 2. So that's 3 minus 4, which is negative 1. So the point of intersection is going to be 8, comma 3, comma negative 1. And that is the answer. 
So now you know how to find a point of intersection between a line and a plane. So that's it for this video. If you haven't subscribed already to this channel, don't forget to do that. And also, make sure to click on that notification bell. Thanks again for watching.